Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different, right? I know I usually don't like intro videos like this. Um, but I just wanted to go over a team the concept that I cooked up and ran a little bit on the new season two ranked ladder uh, for doubles. So I figured I'd, you know, just go over the team build. Um, and if anyone's interested, I'm going to be posting the pokey paste and the uh, rental code for this team because I've already built it in game like I said and I ran it on ladder for a little bit um, And I did pretty well. I took about I think it was six games I went five and one to get the master ball class this season uh, Since if you reach master ball class, I believe they only drop you down to rank nine about halfway through So it only took me about six games to get all the way up to master ball class again, which is super super cool um, And then I continued to run the team until I got to I believe about like top 300 top 400 somewhere around there if I remember right um, and I'm Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how I did with the team. I personally feel like I don't have a ton of experience in doubles, but for my lack of experience, I, I'm pretty proud of how I did. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be playing more with the team, maybe making tweaks to the team. So, you know, if I make any changes to the team and anyone would like to see the changes or even run the new team with whatever changes I make, then I'm going to be posting them probably in the comment section, first and foremost and in my discord which the link for that is going to be in the description as well as maybe on twitter uh which is also in the description if you'd like to check either of those out um so yeah let's go ahead and get into the team so here we have i know you can't really see like under my face cam but i mostly built this team around this galade because i was super super interested in getting a pokemon that has imprison and trick room because I was pretty annoyed, honestly, with all the, uh, you know, Ndidi Armor Rouge leads, all the Oranguru and Hariyama leads, maybe even the, uh, you know, like, Fairy Giraffe uh, Hariyama, right? So they would click Fake Out and Trick Room, things like that. Um, so the idea here is that I click Imprison, so the enemy cannot Trick Room anymore. And then I have Wide Guard for support. Imprison would also lock Wide Guard on Hariyama. It would lock Wide Guard on Armor Rouge, things like that. So the, yeah, like I said, the idea is you imprison, you block a wide guard, trick room, whatever it may be. And then you have sacred sword with max attack adamant. Uh, I have a little bit of bulk. I kind of want to go more bulk. That's what I was saying about changing things with the team, but we'll see. And then pretty good amount of speed. This thing has pretty decent speed. Um, honestly, I kind of just like calc to see how much damage I'd be taking from like sucker punch from a uh, King Gambit. Uh, and that's why I have like this amount of HP and then I just kind of threw everything else into speed So, you know, I didn't think too hard about this set. Honestly, I probably should have thought a little bit harder about it to see You know, maybe maybe optimize this a little bit more and like I said, I'll probably be making those changes in the future I'm also thinking about making this covert cloak instead of life orb So I don't have to rely on, you know, praying that I don't get faked out or even just run terror ghost something like that But again, we'll see but Yeah, that's the that's the idea behind this team i pretty much just built around galade to some degree anyway um and then i went with a raichu for fake out this is probably my favorite support mod now absolutely insane support pokemon fake out volt switch nuzzle faint so you know you nuzzle something so you can outspeed it normally people would run lightning rod but i ran into a rain team on the ranked ladder once i hit master ball class and I led Raichu and Golden Go. It was the it was a it was a Drizzle Pelipper and a Swift Swim Floatzel with Wave Crash with Life Orb. And my goal was to fake out the Floatzel and then kill it with Specs Thunderbolt from Golden Go. Fake out worked, but then Lightning Rod for God knows why sucked up my Thunderbolt. I never knew that was an interaction. I thought it was only if enemies use Thunderbolt things like that that it would grief you. However, apparently, if you use Thunderbolt when your teammate has Lightning Rod, it still sucks in the Lightning Rod. It still sucks in the Thunderbolt, right? I found that out the hard way. And you can probably imagine I lost that match really, really hard because the Floatzel was able to just run free and wreak havoc on my team. And by the time I actually killed it, he still had a Pelipper on the field and two other Pokemon in the back. And I had like a like a one HP like I don't even know what I had left honestly I think I had like one HP Raichu and and a, and like my Annihilate or something that was already damaged so I was just I uh, it was it was just wraps, um, but otherwise from there you know we have Faint to block or to break Detect Protect Quick Guard Wide Guard. 
quick guard i don't think anybody's running quick guard uh maybe at some point the meta might shift to where quick guard might be worth running however i've don't think i've ever seen anyone click quick guard and ranked yet um and this faint is absolutely insane just predicting protects clicking faint they think they're safe they're really not um because making those reads on protects and being able to faint and then you know just nuke it with any of my offensive pokemon such a good feeling such a crazy good feeling um standard murkrow set uh quash over taunt because i really love being able to click quash again like on those float souls like i mentioned uh clicking quash on the float soul and then or something something really really fast that i wouldn't be able to outspeed otherwise with tailwind right even with hydreigon as fast as hydreigon is 165 speed with timid absolutely crazy speed but even sometimes with Tailwind, you cannot speed it. Like Lycanroc, for example. Sand Lycanroc, Sand Rush, Jolly Lycanroc gets up to 360 speed in Sand Rush. Um, you're not you're not outspeeding that with a Tailwind with anything on this team. Um, yeah, not even not even Raichu, unless I were to make this like max speed. But Raichu really, really, really needs the bulk. Uh, seeing as it's AV, so it can tank even more and be a better support Pokemon, right? Get off more paralyzes with nuzzles get more volt switches in maybe switch into a move and click fake out the next turn things like that right um foul play quash haze tailwind you know standard you know tailwind foul play haze really really standard ev light so it can take more hits things like that prankster obviously max hp max physical defense little bit of spadef that honestly doesn't do anything for the most part uh bold nature so i'm just taking crazy crazy physical hits things like that uh terra ghost in case i'm worried about getting fake outed but Honestly, I almost never tear up my Murkrow, because uh, usually I just do not care to, because like it, most of the time it doesn't really matter, because uh, usually they fake out my other Pokemon anyway, and then I get the Tailwind off, and then my other Pokemon ends up getting like double targeted and dying, but you know, it kind of just depends. Um, Now, you know, Annihilate set. Annihilate, Golden Go, and Hydreigon. Golden Go is a really, really standard set, just max, it's just modest, max special attack, max speed, right? Specs. Terra Steel, make it rain. Just a nuke. It just it it slaughters so many Pokemon. I did put Power Gem on here um, because I used to have Gleam, but I found in so many situations I'm just clicking Make It Rain over Gleam like 99% of the time. There's almost no reason for me that I found to click Gle that as in Gleam. Uh, so I just have Power Gem instead for you know like Volcaronas or Talon Flames, even things like that. Uh, just anything that obviously Power Gem would hit harder, right? uh thunderbolt for you know pesky water types things like that shadow ball make it rain really standard uh pretty much every golden go has make it rain shadow ball make it rain is just way too good of a move you get the point you've seen it before everybody's seen it this is a demon on the ladder everybody's running golden go so you know uh annihilate set i did get this from this is the exact same set of, of the annihilate in the team in my last video uh with a beat up mouse hold into the annihilate I found this set works extremely well. It's an insanely bulky Annihilate. I did give it Adamant Nature. I believe it already had Adamant Nature. I'm not sure. I can't entirely remember. Um, but Adamant Nature, super, super bulky, right? Literally all of its investment into bulk. Uh, Defiant, obviously. Lefties, Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Bulk Up Protect, right? Terra Steel for a defensive Terra for, you know, any, any psychic moves like Expanding Force, things like that. And then you can just counter with Rage Fist, whatever the case may be um i love this pokemon this this thing this thing's insane right you outspeed so many things with 110 speed with literally no investment in speed just is is there really more i need to say crazy 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 bulk still 148 physical attack 110 speed such a such a good pokemon such a crazy good pokemon um golden go like i said same thing now this hydreigon set is really really interesting i did notice um that in regionals in the uh san diego regionals that happened yesterday um from when i'm going to be uploading this video i believe um but today for me when i'm recording this there was i think a few players there was at least one match that i saw that somebody was running this exact set uh i don't know if the ev spread was the same but i know that you know it was the same move set same items things like that i believe it was still terra fire as well um but this set is super 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 cool um so for anyone that doesn't know if you crit no matter how many stat drops you have you still hit at full damage plus the crit damage so you're hitting 1.5 times the maximum damage 
Um, like, so for example, if I click Draco Meteor and then I click Draco Meteor again after being minus two special attack, or maybe I click Draco Meteor three times, I'm minus six. If I crit that Draco Meteor, I'm hitting for normal damage Draco, Draco Meteor plus the crit damage. So 1.5 times normal, the neutral Draco Meteor damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Super, super, super cool set. Uh, the focus energy plus the skull plans gives you 100% crit rate. So literally no matter what, if you click Draco Meteor or Heat Wave, you are critting the enemy Pokemon. Unless it has like Shell Armor, but I don't think anybody runs Shell Armor because we're not playing a Nuzlocke, you know? Um, really, really cool set. I, I super, super love this Hydreigon set. It's super fun just watching something set up and still having it die to Draco Meteor or to Heat Wave. Literally no matter what. <laughs> um, pretty ridiculous. Standard standard EV spread. Um, something else might be a better idea. I don't know. If somebody has a better idea for really anything on this team, let me know in the comments or, you know, join Discord, tweet at me on Twitter, whatever. Um, just let me know, you know, if you're like, hey, you should change this EV spread or maybe give this a Pokemon this move instead, right? Something like that. For sure, let me know. I am super, super open to any suggestions because I would love to improve this team and maybe even change a Pokemon. That would be cool. Um, just something like that, right? Uh, it'll be super, super fun because I kind of really enjoyed building this team, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this team. Most of the sets, so like Murkrow, and I like Golden Girl, Hydreigon. Some of the most used Pokemon, right? Really, really common. Really, really strong Pokemon. Um, so, you know, probably kind of unoriginal, right? But... If it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? You know, if it works, it works, right? Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it's a little bit different than, you know, my previous videos, right? All of those are just, like, gameplay videos. Uh, I just wanted to break down my thought process in building this team and running this team and share it with you guys in case you wanted to run it yourselves. So, definitely go check it out. If you do well with it on ladder, definitely let me know. That'd be super, super cool. And again, if you run into any problems, anything that you think that, you know, maybe a Pokemon could have a different move, like I said, different spread, something like that, uh, definitely let me know, because I would love to improve this team, like I said. So, uh, I already have a few tweaks in mind that I might be trying in the near future, but again, if any changes get made, I'll be the first person to let you know in Discord, Twitter, in the comments, things like that. Uh, maybe even make a video on it, like, reusing the team stuff like that and the next video i believe is probably just going to be me running this team uh in my rank matches yesterday because i feel like i did pretty well for my lack of experience i feel like it was really cool um but yeah so much love everybody hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace peace